This is a quick tutorial on how you can make thumbnails with Ideogram AI. Um, and this is something that I use on various different channels for various different thumbnails. I just wanted to be able to show you guys how you can do this because it's something that's really, really effective in the different styles. So this is an example thumbnail that I've just made. You can see I put 2D illustration style thumbnail about space exploration that says where the aliens. OK, um, and there are many different use cases for this, but thumbnails are something that a lot of people don't know. So I'm just basically showing you guys how you can do that. So there was a recent video that I saw um, and of course it, it doesn't allow for custom images and stuff like that but it's still very very good so there was a, a recent video where I can make a thumbnail for I'm going to show you guys that video now so for example this video right here um, made by someone that I watched she talks a lot about science and I find it kind of interesting um, and I was thinking okay so she put I think faster than light travel is possible here's why so I'm going to make a thumbnail for that and show you guys how you can do that in literally like 10 to 20 seconds and how it's really easy so faster than light travel is essentially space travel that's faster than light the fastest kind of travel in the universe so I'm going to make a thumbnail on that really quickly and all I would do is I would put um I would put you know thumbnail about space exploration that says um faster than light travel faster than light travel okay so you can see thumbnail about space exploration that says faster than light travel then i want to make sure that i'm on 16 bot 9 if i do my ratio here this is going to have uh the standard uh phone size this one-to-one -one is essentially instagram size and 16.9 is the youtube thumbnail size you can see 1270 by 1080 okay so that's the aspect ratio that you want then i'm going to click generate then i'm going to click generate again i'm going to wait two seconds generate again and then, of course, um, there are many different ways that you can do as well. Um, and we're going to see uh, exactly how it comes out now. Because I put the text in the quotation marks, the text should be right. But sometimes it doesn't get it right. And you can just generate it again. OK, so I could put um, I could also put right here because it's the thumbnail. I could put spaceship traveling fast and text says faster than light travel. OK, and then. OK, so you can see this right here. We can see that this is how these thumbnails look. So faster than light travel, faster than light travel. These ones don't actually look that good. But uh, if I wait for the second generation, because I did just make some right here and you can see that where are the aliens, these ones actually do look pretty good as YouTube thumbnails. So I can put text and I can put text that says big bold letters. Then we can see faster than light travel here and we can see faster than light travel here. We can see this as well. So what it allows us to do as well, you can also put text in big bold letters if you do want the text to be big and bold, because right here we can see exactly how the the words are. So we can see faster than light travel and we can see this is, you know, how the thumbnails look. Now, there's a lot of different applications. I did, um, you know, the first one, where are the aliens? We can see exactly, you know, how I did this one. I, I wanted to do a Kurgstat style thumbnail and you can see this is what i got this one looks pretty basic but this one is really cool and then of course i got this one that is really really cool where are the aliens okay so you can actually do this for a lot of different thumbnails i also did some gaming ones so i did you know i tried to do gta 5 let's play episode one you can see that this one does look pretty basic but if you tune it a bit more you can do a lot of uh different different styles so other thumbnails that you can make that are also really cool. So for example, I've just done some more variations and I think this one is looking really, really good. I put YouTube thumbnail, futuristic spaceship, traveling fast and text, big bold letters says it's possible. So you can see right here, it says it's possible and it has a uh, spaceship moving fast. And I think this one really does look good. Like if I saw this in my recommended feed, I'd probably click it because I think it looks really nice and really aesthetic. And then this one as well here, I think this looks really aesthetic as well. And you can try this with that, with the uh, auto magic prompt on or off. You can see if essentially a magic prompt is just um, when you go to an image you can see um, you know it actually does the thing here it, it turns the prompt into something a lot more advanced but it's up to you whether or not you do want that you can you can kind of test it out um, on what you think and I think sometimes with some thumbnails um, um, you know you shouldn't have it on because it just you know gets sidetracked a bit but sometimes you do and, and another thumbnail that I do want to you know do is I want to do a YouTube thumbnail featuring futuristic uh, civilization this is AGI in 2030 okay so i'm going to do agi in 2030 and then uh, we're going to see exactly how that looks and it a lot of the stuff looks good if you've seen the other tutorials i did on the channel um they look really really effective so i'm going to do civilization so we're going to do thumbnails here and then we're going to click this um and i think the best thing about this is of course the text because the text just makes everything look really cool i'm going to put um and bold i'm going to in fact let me just add text bold in center at top says agi there we go okay so now you can see that because of course it's a youtube thumbnail sometimes it does look a bit like if you don't specify the text needs to be bold and if you don't specify the text need where it needs to be it doesn't get exactly where the text needs to be but of course like i said if you put the text in the center and in bold you can see just how good that looks for example like here agi in 2030 that looks really really cool i know it doesn't look too cool close up 
but um, it does look really cool. Now, if you're trying to generate this kind of thumbnail again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click Remix, and then I'm going to just use the image weight, and then I'm going to click Generate, um, and then I'm going to come back to here, and then I'm going to click uh, Remix again, and I'm going to click uh, Weight 2. So basically, I'm just generating similar thumbnails because I really like this style. Um, and like I said, you want to make sure that you write where the text is for the thumbnail. So text in bold at the center or text in or at the left or text at the right. Um, and this is going to help you out with certain things. And I think this is useful for people who aren't really, really good at uh, technicals. And I think you can see AGI in 2030. That thumbnail looks really nice. This thumbnail looks really nice. Artificial general intelligence. And I didn't even actually add artificial general intelligence. But um, I think this is how you make thumbnails really quickly if you want to. And of course, you can also just make the backgrounds for that as well. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to check out the links in the description. If you want the prompts, I will leave the prompts as well. Um, you know, you can just always look at the prompts here and see what see what they are. Click here and you see what the prompt is. So if you enjoyed that video, I'll see you guys in the next one.